Hey everyone, it's me, Miss Branch, the art teacher, here with lesson nine of quarter three. And you just listened to the book, I'll Follow the Moon. And it was about a baby sea turtle. And so we're going to make our own baby sea turtle sculpture. And that's going to be really cool. So let me go ahead and switch my camera so that I, we can get started. Let's see, replace pin. There we go. All right. So you're going to need your model magic and your markers. Now, you're really only going to need your yellow, your green, and your black. But um, we and you, I didn't put scissors on the list, but you might need some help opening up your um, model magic. So I just got the scissors out. And you're going to open up your model magic and take it out of the package. And then you're going to squish it, and this is called kneading it. And you're going to um, squish it and knead it into a ball. And once you have it in a ball, you're going to roll it out. Turn This is called a coil. You're going to make a coil out of it. Once you have your coil made, you're going to pinch it in the middle. And by pinching it in the middle, you're going to get about two even pieces. And so then you're going to take the other one and roll it back into a ball. And then the next step, let me pull my sleeves up, we're going to squish it. Because we're going to change the color by using the markers. So then you're going to color on it using your green marker because we're going to make the shell first. Now, as you color it, you're going to fold it over and squish it again and color it again. And fold it over and squish it again. And I think that should be, you want to, if you want a really dark green color, you're gonna keep folding and squishing it till you don't until you start getting green um fold over. So I'm gonna color and squish it. See now I'm starting to get some green. I'm going to color the parts that aren't green and squish it. All right, and one last little bit. So now when I'm squishing it as green, now I'm going to start breaking it and smushing it. Break and smush and break and smush. And now I can knead it, meaning squishing it. And it turns into a green. Now, if you want it darker, you're going to have to do the same process over again with the marker. And um, let's see, I've got some um, green marker all over my hands. That's going to get on the next piece when I um, start rolling it, but it's okay. So now that I have my ball, we're now going to make what's called a pinch pot. I'm going to bring this in a little closer. And what you're going to do is take your thumb in your middle of your ball and push it in. And then you're going to lift it up and you're just going to pinch and turn, pinch and turn. So you make like a little bowl. But now we're going to flip it over and we're just going to pat it on the edges, pinch and turn. So we make kind of like a turtle shell. This is going to be our turtle shell. You don't want to make it too thin or too big because then it might be too thick for uh, being able to put the um, head on front um, flippers and back flippers and the tail on. So you don't want to make it too big. It, it won't sit up as well if you make it too big and make it too thin. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And now we're going to do the same thing with this one like we did. And I'm going to go ahead and re bring my camera back up and smush it. And this time we're going to turn it yellow. But we're going to make this one yellow green. So first we're going to add a lot of yellow and then flip it. And add some yellow. And flip and squish. Add some yellow. 
then flip and squish. And flip and squish. Now, once you start getting yellow, um, it's time that you can knead it again. So now I'm going to um, knead it and squish it. So I get a nice yellow. It's very pale. I probably could have squished added some more yellow. But we're not going to keep it yellow because we're going to turn it into yellow green. So now I'm going to roll it back into a ball and squish it. And now I'm going to color this side green and squish it. And actually, I'm not going to add too much because I don't want it to get very dark. I want it to stay more like a, uh, you know, a lighter green. So I that's probably enough green in there to turn this yellow into a yellow green. As you're seeing, it's becoming a bright greenish yellow, which is, of course, is yellow green. So now once I have it all mixed together, I'm going to roll it into a ball. Then I'm going to roll it into a coil. And now I have a coil and I'm going to do, I'm going to pull off a big piece for the head. And actually I'm going to pull, and from that head, I'm going to pull off a little piece from the head for the tail. So that's the head and the tail piece. And so now I have a coil up. I'm going to stretch out that coil a little bit more. And I'm going to pinch it in half. And then I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to pinch that in half. Those are going to be the front flips, flippers. And then the two back flippers. All right. So now it's time to start putting my um, turtle together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and roll these back into little balls. And then I'm going to flatten them with my thumb. And I'm going to squish it together a little bit. Now, for the back fin, I better do that again. I think I squished it too much because they're too round. Let me roll them back into balls. Oh, oh, that's one touch. Here we're going to get stuck together. All right. All right, just a little squish, and then squeeze, and then a little squish, then squeeze. There we go. Now, the back flins are not as big as the front flins, fins. So what I'm going to do is pinch one end to make it look a little skinnier, like the back fin, fin on a turtle. And then I'm going to flip this part over, and I'm going to stick the leg on to the side and mush it in on the inside, but not too much. The turtle's going to start flattening out. And so then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Squish, flat, squish, flat. I'm going to do the other leg on the back. Starting to flatten out some. And so with the head, I'm going to squish it a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to make the nose part pointy. So I'm going to pinch it a little bit and squish. And then flatten out where the neck is going to go and stick the head on. Then I'm going to flatten and squish, flatten and squish, make my little ovals. And when I stick this on the side, I'm going to pull it and stretch it and bend it like it's an elbow. Because of uh, uh, turtle um, front flins, they bend like they have elbows to help them swim better. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to squish it. Flatten it and squish it. And I'm going to stick it underneath. And then I'm going to pull it out and then bend it a bit like it's an elbow. And so now he's starting to get a little flat and push him back together a little bit. I'm going to squeeze his neck a little bit. There we go. Squish his neck. Make his head come out. 
And in this piece, I'm going to roll into a coil. But the tail is kind of pointy. So I'm going to just take one finger. I'll bring that camera in. And I'm just going to roll one in a little bit more. And it's going to make it get smaller like a turtle's tail. And put it on in the back where the tail goes. And so now I'm going to squish them back together a little bit. There we go. I'm going to use my black marker to draw. And right, so actually, before I even do that, I'm going to lift them up and put them on my um my um chipboard because um I want them to dry in one place and don't have to move them around too much. And so now. I'm going to just draw like a little circle on the top and then some lines coming down and then don't have to be perfect and don't press too hard because then you'll just kind of like press into the clay and then there. And then like made another circle around. And then on the side of the eye, on the side, I'm going to put a little dot for an eye. And then on the other side, I'm going to put a little dot with the black marker for the eye. And at the front, I'm going to put two tiny dots for the nostrils. There we go. I'm going to squish this one a little bit more. This one looks more rounded. Squish, squish, squish. And you can fix it as you go if you need to fix anything. Is it elbow boom? And there you have your turtle sculpture. All right, so let me switch my camera, lift this camera up. We play pin. All right, everyone. So you got to make a sculpture of a baby sea turtle. And it is so cool. We got to color the model magic with the markers and change the color. Well, we did that already. Um, like when um our P um uh, what was that? I don't like peas project. We got to turn some model magic gray to make the fork and the knife for the plate. But anyway, that's how you change the color with model magic. You use your markers. All right. I will see you next um for next quarter because this is called um lesson nine. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.